hello there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will going to share the union or combination or combining the data set so so far we have cleaned the different data sets and now i will show you how you can make a union or combine all of these data sets so to do this it's very very easy it's again a drag and drop the unique part of tableau and the tableau prep builder so to combine first of all these two data sets what i need to do is i just need to drag it over on the union as you can see as i am hovering uh, or dragging it over this particular cleaning step i have two options either i can join or i can union right so because i need to combine these two data sets i can i need to click on or i need to put it on the union union is highlighted in orange as you can see right so i'm just leaving it over here and now a union step has been created now what i need to do is i need to pick the order central and drag it over here now the catch is that i just need to drag it over here on the existing union step not on the new union which is it is it is showing over here because it will create a new step for me so make sure that based on how you need to clean the data or add the combine the data uh, you drag the step accordingly so since i need to combine it with the existing union step i will drag it over here which is the add part so it is now combined right and finally i have order south since there is no cleaning step i will just simply add it again as you can see i am not putting it over the union or join simply dragging it over the add step and now this has been added and as you can see earlier the value was here but it's been dragged to here to match up with all the cleaning steps uh, and then the union step over here once we have done that you can see over here so that setting column has been created and along with that changes so setting is indicating you that all the different tables which has been joined together as an input resulting field you have five mismatch field from 25 fields and over here this is basically your mismatch field which is discount product name file path uh, product and discounts so if i just uncheck that uh, this basically shows this information about the mismatch field and along with that it has also created a new field which is table names again very helpful in terms of we want to understand from where the rows are coming also over here you have the show you only mismatch field so you can check it over here and whatever was shown over here is shown over here and the mismatch is basically from the color coding we can clearly see is happening from the uh, order central and uh, down there you have discounts and you have discount right so probably that is sort of a bit of a mismatch that is uh, going on over here also in case of if you see the product and product name the value looks like same it's just that the name is different so what we can do over here is that uh, we can merge this discount with this discount field so what i'm doing is i have just selected this and dragging it over to this let me try it again yeah drop to merge fields so it's merged now and no and it's not showing in the mismatch field similarly i will drag it on the field product field over the product name and now the only field which is remaining is file path so we will just leave it but rest of the fields are now properly matching and we can uncheck this and come over here with our cleaned data set which is now combined as well one last thing that you can do is uh, renaming this double clicking over here and uh, we can say um, all orders or combining all orders or you know all regions whatever that makes more sense from the business perspective and understanding perspective all regions right since these are all the regions that we have combined into the uh, union step over here and it is showing you the further step 
uh, for the further processing. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you for the union of different data sets into one single one. I hope you have got a good idea by now and I'll meet you now in the next video.